This is a demonstration of why you don't want to get vinyl or carpet or anything else too hot with your heat gun. So I use, this is a setting I usually use 6 to 7 on this uh, Harbor Freight heat gun. So anyway, see if it's hot. Oh yeah, it seems to be pretty hot. Okay. So when you want to take out wrinkles, you want to keep the heat gun moving. So you want to soften up that vinyl and let the molecules move around a little bit. So we got it pretty flat there. It's hot to the very hot to the touch. Okay, so that that's keeping the heat gun moving. Okay, so what happens if oh you got distracted? Somebody walked into the room and you're holding your gun uh, in one place like that and you're turning back around and the seat that you just finished kind of looks something like that. And you're like, oh my God, what did I just do? Now I got to redo the seat again. Okay, same thing with carpet. This is what happened to carpet. Like if sometimes you'll have a carpet piece sewn to the back of a seat and you're doing the same thing. You're heating it up and you say, oh, okay. So, oh, somebody walked in the room. I got distracted. Okay, so that's what happens to your carpet vinyl combination right there. So anyway, don't stop moving your heat gun. Keep it moving all the time. Even if you're holding it close, as long as you keep it moving, you should be okay. It's only when you stop, when you stop and you um, concentrate the heat. So if you guys learned something new, or you thought this was valuable information, please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. And I got a lot more of these videos coming. Till next time, see ya.